Only two on aim fence to the good guys. Yeah. Right down I really, this crowd. I really hope Jules mate. Um, he, that was a stone cold face we're running out there now. He's focused. The guard is under his dead set 70 metres long. I'd be bugger just getting to the end of it. And here they are, they're on the field now, Denman are on the field. Banging on the shed door for the Aberdeen Tigers. They're getting ready to go. I've got goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> Going down towards uh, Ben Hagen. I think that's the way that they'll target. I think they will. They'll go down towards that eastern side. We got Nathan Cantor just putting the ball on the tee. He's been very, very careful. A lot of attention to detail. Got to put just right. Mate, I've got to say too, the crowd has been very well behaved today. It's been sensational. Oh, it's been awesome. Here we go. We're waiting for Matty Edwards to blow his whistle. He'll get us underway. And there he is, that blow off. And now the kickoff. A screwing ball too that's gone straight down. And Gary McKean's picked it up. He's given it to Ben Hagen. He's bound into the line and he's tackled about 17 metres out from his own try line. They'll look to come towards the middle of the field. And it's going to be... It's going to be Denman now. They're tackled right in the middle. Daryl Bowen going in for a big hit there too with the big number 10. Mark McCauley for Aberdeen. He plays the ball. Now it's Luke Hasselman at... At Dummy Harp, he's passed it down to Dan Hagen, who's tackled. They're 25 metres out, about 15 in from the western touchline. They play another short play, and it's going to be tackled there right on the 30. Now he stands up. Now it's Luke Hasselman darting out of Dummy Harp. He looks for a little bit of a gap. He avoids the Daryl Bowen's tackle. It's the last. They're on the halfway line now, and they go towards Gary McKean, who's going to kick very high, too. He's going to test Nathan Cantor early, and he picks it up on his 12 metres out. And now he's going to come into the line and a terrific tackle there. Dane Cronin with the long hair. I remember the long hair. Dane's in the out of W. <laughs> Not the intensity, Reggie, from the first set? No, I didn't. Ex I expected a bit more. What like you said, Luke Hasselman, he's playing in a dummy half at the moment. He needs to get out wide. I'll tell you, the intensity may hit here now because we've got Mark McCauley looking for his hit up. They do go towards there, and he's going to charge Braid into uh, Denman's defence, and it's Brady Stair who uh, makes the first contact to bring him down. That's the third tackle now as they stand up. Number nine, he's gone back an early kick too. Nathan Cantor has kicked it back on his 30-metre line. He's kicked it back 10 metres out from the Denman line. Very, very big, and Nathan Doyle for Denman. He comes into the line, that's where he's going to be tackled. Just 25 metres out from his own line, 15 in from the eastern touch line. Quick dart out of dummy half is Tyson Bruins. He stands up slowly. Mark Whitten gets over. Look, Aberdeen have said that they're going to work a ruck, and they're doing a good job there of trying to play the ball down. 
Aberdeen are getting off their line beautifully there with a great hit by Mark McCauley on Dan Hagen. Luke Hasselman, notably, he's gone to dummy half every single time. And Stane Cronin has a second hit up of the match and gets over the 40 metre line with a good tackle down low by Darrell Bowen and up high by Shane Hasselman. Luke Hasselman, his brother, gets a ball back inside though and it keeps going through the line. Gary McKean, now he's flipped it on the Darren Richards. Big run miles and a little bit of a bust. It's Andrew Mepham, he's been able to get away from one. And now they're just 30 metres out. We've got a uh, whistle, no, no whistle, on the touchline as they come towards the centre. Gary McKean goes to the air and he's going to make them work. Troy Millwood. Millwood, he's picked it up and he's just come out now and he's 10 metres out from his own line. Him and have got to get off the line now and lift the intensity in defence here. Yeah, look, it's been all over doing this and that kicking game has, is remarkably a, a lot better. But um, like I said, they've got to get off the line. Aberdeen are the ones that's getting up on the line and holding that play the ball and slowing it. Dan Hagen going a little bit high on Dave Manane before he's been able to get it out. And looks like Nathan Cantor has uh, had a quick run. Stands up now, plays it, and a big run. There it is, James Standing. Gets over the 30 metre line. They're still about 15 metres in from the eastern touchline. Happy to just hit it up at the moment as Mark McCauley has his uh, second hit up of the match. And he's going to be tackled. Expect the kick early again. Look, they're focusing on that Mark McCauley and they're aiming for that arm too if you watch when he runs the ball. They'll yeah, be able to test that out. the early kick and they've kicked for touch. Demon are going to have the scrum feed now about 31 metres out from their own line. Look, it is all Aberdeen at the moment, isn't it, really? They're playing really good football. Look, they're doing the basics. They're doing everything right. They've been obviously been drilled into it. You know, get to the kick early. Let's complete our sets. Let's have no mistakes. Uh, the forwards are working. Um, you know, Shane Hasselman's doing his bit there as well. And um, Sean Tanner, you know, just hasn't really come into the game yet. But he won't be far away. You'll see Luke Hasselman just packed in at the They need to get that switched around. Demon feed to the scrum and it's come out now and Brendan Train has the ball right in the middle of the field, 30 metres out. Dane Cronin takes another hit up. His workload has been massive in the first few minutes. Tackled low blade by Shane Hasselman. Luke Hasselman is the dummy half. They come towards the short side. And Look, if they're going to have a good shot, this will be this set. And I'd, look, I'd be aiming if they can't get down there and get a try for a repeat set and keep the pressure on. You know, I've done the stuff, clock, it's all done. <laughs> They want a bit of fun. McKinnon over and over now broadcast thanks to the good guys at East Maitland. Larry Tanner feeds the scrum and it comes out to Hasselman. He shows it for Cantor but decides to go and breaks a tackle before he's tackled now. They're 35 metres out in the middle of the field. They're trying to get the first points on the board. A hit up now by Nathan Cantor. Uh, tries to split the defence but still makes a good 10 yards. They're coming up towards the 20 metre line. Sloppy play the ball. Just play on boys. Larry Tanner, the halfback for Aberdeen. Holds it up now. Gives it to James Standing. They are 20 metres out. On the third tackle. On the third tackle now, and Robbie Rampling. He goes towards the middle, finds Steve Hinch, and if he tackles your one on one, you'll know it. Shane Hasselman throws a pass to his forward, and Dave Manning picked it up. Yeah, that was, a, that was, they that. That was a great opportunity. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now look, in all honesty, you talked about Dane Cronin, his workload has been tremendous, he's been in every tackle, a third or fourth man in there to slow that play the ball down, but he just did a bit of a technique there to try and make a loose ball, he put his foot in the play the ball, so, Both great teams technique. Both had an error now. Both teams have had an error. Alright, Denman feed this from the middle of the field, 25 out from their own line, they're trying to work it out, it goes through Mark Brown, now onto Andrew Meppham. He's going to be tackled by the Aberdeen defence. They're 38 out from their own line. Load up the ball. He gets up finally, and Mark Brown is a dummy half and throws it on to the big number 12. That's Darren Richards, who's playing on the right-hand side in second row. Up he goes. They want to come back to the open side. Dan Hagen, the best run he's had all day, and he's met by a wall of Aberdeen defenders, including Mark Wilton, James Standing, and also Mark McCauley. Gary McKean with the ball in his hands, throws the ball, a little under ball to Dane Cronin, but the Tigers were awake to that and they've been able to shut it down. Still in their own half, but uh, a couple of metres out. Oh, he's slow, Robbie Rampling to get up there. Luke Hasselman, the second dart out as dummy half, and he looks dangerous every time that he's done that. The ball's going to come back towards the open side. They're in Tiger territory now. They dart it back to the other side, and Mark Brown throws it. Oh. Look forward to me, it doesn't matter, it's even gone out. The touch judge didn't even try and catch that one. It's nil all here at McKinnon Oval Aberdeen as we broadcast thanks to the good guys at East Maitland. Reggie, a few thoughts. Mate, look, I think that, look, Mark Brown is doing a tremendous job out there at tackling, but they need to get, as we just saw with that pass, they need to get Luke Hasselman to 5-8 with that zip. You've seen him cover up from that dummy half. He needs to get out there wider. What about the work he's doing out of dummy half, though? Two runs. 
He's going beautifully. He's, oh. made him, he's running yards of probably 30 metres already just from two runs. This game from both coaches is a pretty smart football. Yeah. All right, Aberdeen working it out of their own half now as they just cross the halfway line thanks to... Uh, oh, not even looking at the football. Mate, I think he was looking for his guitar. He's given a penalty. Matty Edwards has given a penalty for an offside. He wasn't even watching. No, it was an accidental offside there. He's given a penalty for. But poor Darrell, I think he was looking for the next play. First penalty of the game, and it will be uh, Luke Hasselman to uh, take the touch finder. And he finds it right on the 30 metre line. Okay, a full set of six for the Denman Devils now. Can they put some points on the board? Now it comes out, and it's Rob. Well, he goes in for the tackle that's going to be. It's Dan Hagen who stands up to play it. He's worked loads too. Luke Hasselman persisting and staying at dummy half. I think it's a great move. They throw it out to Mark Brown. He cuts out Dane Crone and finds Ben Hagen. He's tackled now 20 metres out in the middle of the field. Mark Brown wants it out on the right and he gets it. Now he's got uh, number 13, Brady Stair, who wants to hit up and he does a bit of work before the Denman again. Denman defence is getting there in their numbers too, which is important. They're getting there in twos and threes. Now Dane Crone and he holds it. Oh, Brady Stair had an opportunity. The ball's come off his hip though. What's the call? We're going to have a knock on. Of course, and Aberdeen will feed the ball now in front of their own goalpost. About 10 metres out. Credit to the Aberdeen defence. You can't pick a gap out there in the line. They are marked up really well and from the outside in. I think that this defence from Aberdeen has been the best I've seen them all season. Well, we were talking about in our pre-game about how much ball is going to need to be thrown around on the people out wide. Um, the first two sets didn't really have the intensity, but it's just been continual now in the middle. They're ready to play this game out of the centre. Expect this to be like this for at least the 70 minutes. It won't be until the last <laughs> There's bigger blokes out there that could have gave chase, but it was Gary McLean, and it was good. You're not going to stop Scott Dunn in space anyway. He was just gone. As soon as there was a gap, he was into it, and he's run 80 metres by the time he had the ball, and by the time he scored... Like I said, they can't chase, they can't not chase it. Andrew Meppen has the speed to, to at least match with Scott Dunn. Scott Dunn's a bit quicker, but for Gary McKean, the halfback, to break from that scrum and nearly catch him, that, you know, that's amazing. Score at the moment here at McKinnon Oval Aberdeen is 4-0 with a kick to come to the Tigers, and it will be Shane Hasselman who's going to kick it out just to the left of the uprights and 10 metres out. He'll put this over in the car park. Yeah, I reckon. Without, without a doubt, he's, he's right in front. If he misses this, they need to hand it over to Macca to kick goals. <laughs> I'm sure Macca can do it. Here's the game. Here's the six more. Demon crowd's trying to pump them up. They're into it. They're this really near in. This time the score of tries. Yeah, a couple of minutes after you scored the last one. Look, Dane Crone and his workload, I'd say you won't see him out there for longer than the next five minutes. I think he'll be off and they'll bring on Lake and Hobbs. He's playing sensational football and he'll be able to bring someone of that calibre off and put Lake on. Demon get us underway with the restart and they put a deep kick down to uh, the eastern side of the field. Oh, oh, Nathan Cantor nearly gave it to James Standing who just overrun the play but fortunately held it up. And Nathan Cantor in the middle of the field now about 12 metres out from the Aberdeen line. Slow to play the ball before they start going towards James Standing now and he hits the line nice and hard too and good defence by the Aberdeen side. Uh, Denman side, I'm sorry. Now they get back up again and now they go real hard and that's Robbie Rampling. He's got another penalty. He's got a penalty. He's gone high on that one, so that 
that's going to be a penalty. That's piggyback to the Tigers. The last thing Denman want to be doing this early in the game after that Aberdeen have already scored a try. But again, in those three tackles, Dane Conan in all three of them. So he's really manhandling them out there today. I think the Aberdeen team is just playing smart football. You can see them structured. They know what they're doing. They're talking out there. The talk's good. Robbie Rampling now, he uh, taps the ball and he gets it back now and James standing with the ball in his hand. Takes a hit up there and he made a couple of metres. They've got to work better at that one. Now it comes out to uh, Sean Tanner. He's inside ball to Mark Wilton. And uh, they're not going anywhere at the moment. The Denman defence for the first time really getting off the line now. And away they go again. Now Sean Tanner is cut out play. Hasselman. Here's a bit of a go, Nathan Blacklock, but a great tackle by Luke Hasselman. Around the boot race, his hands brought Nathan down. They come towards the, uh, the blind side, Nathan Cantor with the ball. You see that little one-tap there, and Luke Hasselman doing his brother. That's lovely. Daryl Bowen's going to have a hit up too, and uh, he's driven by Mark Brown. Picked up and dumped. Aberdeen at the moment, they're 25 out there on the uh, western touchline. It goes towards the middle and Shane Hustler puts it in. Very high in the air. Running through is Nathan Blacklock. He does contest it. I think he's knocked it on, though. And uh, the scraps have been cleared up and kicked out of the dead ball line. But it is correct. Nathan Blacklock has knocked the ball on. And uh, on the last, that's going to be the change for Denman. Score at the moment, 6-0. Very confident call, too, by Matty Everts. Three Denman players and Nathan Blacklock. He's on the ball, and that's what I like about Matty. He backs himself all the time. I've got a feeling Matty's listening to the coverage on two. <laughs> he's picked up. Is that his earpiece in there, is there? And the knock on at the moment. Thane Cronin runs it out from their own 10 metre line now, and he's tackled 20 metres in from the western touch line. Luke Hasselman's the dummy half, a play between the Hagen boys. One is a decoy, and Dan gets the ball over the 20 metre line in the middle of the field, and uh, numbers still for Aberdeen there in defence. Dane Cronin has been cut out, and it's like grading stare to Denman, who's going to be tackled. You know who's getting through a lot of defence is Shane Hasselman. I don't think they need him doing that much. No, no, definitely. And that's what I said. He needs to be out wide. I think they'll move him out wide later in the match. But uh, both teams just have. He's come in now defending one in from the from the winger. Early kick two, and uh, Luke has oh, put it high. He's on the oh, oh, it's bounced. Tyson Bourne's coming through. It's bounced back from the uh, the try from the touchline and gone back inside. And it was Dave Manane, the number five for Everton, has been tackled and wrapped up too. Brady Stair and Tyson Bourne, the young boys, doing the work. Running blind now is Nathan Cantor. Darts out a dummy half. Doesn't quite get the yards. Looking for a quick play, the ball is Dave Manane. They're about 20 metres out from, oh, about 15 out from their own try line, working it out. Daryl Bowen with his hit up for Aberdeen now, and that's a great tackle. Welcome, Hump is made. He'll, he'll be, he's got the same hair to his uh, Dane Cronin, and they do the same amount of workload. And I think that Demons really muscled up here in this set of defence, and this has been a turning point here. Nathan Blacklock, who's mirrored his hairstyle on mine, is in the middle of the path. What's that must be about the fourth tackle, I think, as they start to run it wide a little bit too. Is there a chance for Aberdeen that they've just been wrapped up Lake and Homp? Lake and Homp, yeah, once again he's in there. He's running all over the place at the moment. Now they're going to kick. And it's Shane Hasselman who's put it very, very deep. There's a nice release for Aberdeen at the moment too, and the kicks are nice and long. And uh, Nathan Dorr for Denman. Able to mark it though and uh, charges in. And they're 35 out from their own line. All offside the Denver, the Aberdeen Tigers at the moment too and uh, not seen. That's what I was about to say to you. They're really testing them. I don't think that one side's been back on side for more than three tackles in a set. So Andrew Methan, he gets up towards the uh, halfway now. And uh, six, well, six nil at the moment, over halfway. And uh, Denman, they give it to uh, Lakin. Now he's tackled right. They're not really going anywhere at the moment. They've got to come up with something and get a little bit creative. They cut, uh, no, they don't cut out Ben Hagen this time. He takes the charge up and he's tackled by Steve Hinchin. Stands up, plays the ball, and it's Hass who's going to kick it for Tyson Bruins. He's put it over nice the head kick. of Dave Manane. Will it sit up in the in goal? It's just going to beat them. Just going to beat them. Now broadcasting thanks to uh, the good guys at East Maitland. Look, much better football now from Deadman. They've really aimed up. There's a lot of hands on heads from the Aberdeen boys. I think that this is going to be this is going to be right down to the 75th minute. We won't know in the, until then. Oh, I hope it's up to the 175th well done, minute. This is awesome. Well done. It's been a great game of football so far. Lakin puts a little bit into uh, top, top that tackle on Mark McCrawley top before they go star. towards the blind side and Daryl Brown good yards that time. That's the best run he's had all game. He gets up though and plays it back to uh, Rampling. Goes towards the middle of the field now and Larry Tanner, he's going to have a run off Shane Hasselman. Denman defence just laying there. Not too long though, they get up. Rampling from Dummy Hart has a bit of a scoop. He makes it to the halfway line. It's the fourth tackle. Which way do they go now? They've gone back. They're going to kick again early. They're sticking to their game plan. Shane Hasselman's put it very deep. Well, they've got the breeze. He's been able to put it in the no man's land. Waiting to see if this is going to go out. Is Nathan Dorr. And his dreams have come true. He doesn't have to play at that one. 
Damn them all, but get the rest out from the 20 metres. If you're sitting at home, it's really been Hasselman, 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 Hasselman from both sides. They've both been really involved, and we said it'd be a great combination to watch. So I think there's there's a lot there's a lot riding on these games for these boys. They're going to be bantering each other for the rest of the off season. Yeah, they haven't played each other in the grand final for 90 years. <laughs> 90 years bragging rights coming up. Got to fix it up. Ox for uh, Denman. He's worked great, like you said. It's just been huge. Now Benny Hagen wants to hit the captain coach for the Denman Devils. Hits over the 30 metre line. We're still in the middle of the field, and Ox on both sides. Joey Neighbour for Denman. He's on the field now. There's more replacements come for Denman. I can see Benny Hagen coming off. And Darren Richards will go back on. And look, this guy is just really consistent. And like I said, to move these players off the bench. Credit to both sides. They've got players of the same calibre to replace them. It's good. Rotating them early at the moment. We're only about eight minutes gone, ten minutes. Ago. Yeah, we're up to 15th minute, so. <laughs> time flies when Great you're having time. fun. Denman are into Aberdeen territory on the last tackle. Now it'll be Luke Hasselman. He's going to kick along the ground towards Nathan Cantor on a ball. The ball's not rolling. Oh, oh, very hard, but it's gone back. Knocked back. Dave Manes picks up his skills and uh, he gets through before. Oh, he's been the fence goes. And he's dropped the ball. Knocked it on. Oh, no. He's dead dead knocked it on. Richards has gone in there a little bit late, but the ball has come out and it's been effective. Demon are going to have the scrum feed now 10 metres out from the, the Aberdeen trial. Would it be fair to say that things are turning from the beginning of the match where we were all Aberdeen? I think that Demon's now starting to turn things around. Well, they certainly got themselves into the match, but not on the scoreboard at the moment. 6 L is the score. A broadcast thanks to the good guys as uh, Aberdeen are making a few changes and preparing for another one. It looks like Steve Allen's going to be going in. Shane Allen. Denman win the scrum now and they're 10 metres out and it's Hops who's going to be tackled now. They're 8 metres out. 8 metres out. Which way do they go? Options on both sides. They come towards the left and Gary McKean. Oh, a bit of a show for Brayton Stair but he's been tackled now. Stairs up McKean. He's played the ball back to Mark Brown and Mark Brown's been able to uh, get the ball away. Where to go now? There's not enough talk for Denman. Not enough talk. Mark Brown's asking questions. Which way do you want it? It's going to be Luke Hasselman who wants it. Holds it up a little bit now. Here we go. On to Andrew Metram, he's tackled by the Aberdeen defence. They're only a couple of metres out, they're over on the uh, eastern side. The ball's just been spilt. No, there's been a there's laying on the tackle there. The penalty has been given to uh, Denman. They're going to get another set, a couple of metres out. They do decide to uh, take the ball back around about 15 metres out from uh, the fly line. They're going to have another opportunity. Mate, it's great to see. I think that... Um, the Denman side really needs to get right in there now, but like you said, there is no talk from Denman out there at the moment. For Denman, it's Darren Richards who's charged into the line. A couple of metres out again, they're on the uh, right-hand side of the goalpost. Gary McKean, he's played it back inside. And uh, Andrew Metham, going to be wrapped up. Wrapped up. Waiting to see it. Here we go. And now uh, Gary McKean comes out. Mark Brown, he's going to cut out one. Oh, Hopkins got the ball. All getting a bit fancy down the far far end of the, the oval. Mark Brown again from Dummy Harbour. Puts him on the hot spot. Paul Brady's here. He's going to get smashed in the back of the net. Mark Brown's in the Now they get up again. Back towards the centre. They've got to crack this one eventually. The kick has come off a... Uh, uh, Gary McKean has come up with the ball. Oh, and he's looking at this guy. It's a try. It's a try. It looked like he might have been held up, but he couldn't give him a try. It's six points to four with a kick to come. Well, they're not breaking the Aberdeen defence, and that was a great kick there, and it just come from a nothing kick. It's a ricochet off the foot. He's picked it up from two metres and wrestled his way over the try line. It was a great play. You can see for Denman, too, that uh, Lucas Harkis is on the field also now playing in jumper number six. <laughs> about it earlier who they're going to use. Brad Fenton's lining up down here on the sideline. He's about to come into the game and that'll be a big boost for the Aberdeen side. Mark McCauley gets his first rest for Aberdeen. As this is a positional change you don't think you see. A hooker getting swapped for a front rower. Brady going off and Dan Hagen going on. Well, I guess you've got those options. I guess Hassel now goes to... Uh... Brownie's been playing 5-8, he's been making it a play 5-8. Go Tyson! <laughs> He'll be the biggest fight. Tyson, have a go! I think I've got him for that. 
<laughs> Very the biggest front rower I've ever seen. Another one we haven't given credit to is um playing out here. He's playing really well, Brendan Train. He's going well. That kick is successful and we're locked up here for the team services. Group 21 would be that grand final. Six all after Denman scored. And they'll get the ball back from the restart. Uh, six all right. Matty Edwards, he's really reffing a great game out here. He's keeping it both ways, but they are testing him in the defensive line. I would not be surprised if you don't see a penalty in the next five to ten minutes for being offside. Well, a couple of occasions I've seen that Aberdeen, I've noticed, have been well offside, and that's been let go. So Nathan Cantor's got the ball on the kicking team now, and he's going to kick it down towards the eastern side of the field. Another one of those brewing kicks, but it's been taken well by Gary McKenna. Oh, a big wind-up turns down. How are you going to get greeted by about four or five Aberdeen Tigers? I reckon I'd, be, I reckon I'd have one of my pants made him run at me like that. He nearly said Solid in defence, too, uh, by number 17 for uh, Aberdeen and also uh, Mark, uh, Steve Hinchin. Joey Neighbour is the, uh, the hooker, of course. And uh, they put it back on. Dane Cronin made a bust through the line there. Great run by Dane. Dane Cronin. They've got numbers on the short side here. They go towards the open side. And Gary McKean, he's going to cut out Wayne. He gets on the rich heads. And he's got a great run. Now we're going to get a good ball around. Now, yeah, what can happen? What can happen out there for Jay Wynn? Makes some yards. He gets over the uh, early storm. Unlucky. That was a great play. I don't think Richo was supposed to get that ball. It was a cutout, but he was going that fast. It was right there. He took it. He made the break. So, well done. Great ball that he got away to as he's going the ground. All right, we're going to have a scrum. Aberdeen will uh, have the feed. They're 30 metres out, about 20 metres in from the eastern touchline. Six points all here in the T-Services Group 21 Rugby League Grand Final. They pack for the scrum. And uh, Sean Jenner has that it comes back out. And Nathan Cantor, he gets wrapped up in a tackle uh, by Luke Hasselman and also Brady Stair. Shane Hasselman is the dummy half. He comes towards the right-hand side of the field. And Shane is standing. He's been taken high in the solid Come on, tight! Yeah, Shane, look, his tackling's been really consistent. He's out there, but a bit high there. Could have gone either way. Shane has that one for it, too. That one's up around his nose. <laughs> but Shane Allen, for uh, the big fella for Aberdeen, gets up on the halfway line. Good little touch. Daniel Hugelworth out there. He's going to bust the part in the centre. Daniel Hugelworth from Dummy Half. They're 40 metres out from the uh, Denman line as they start coming in with a few numbers. The kick is right. Here. Nathan Blacklock wants it. What's going to happen? Tyson Bruin is getting there, but Nathan Doyle's picked the ball up and Nathan Blacklock has tackled Royal. One metre out from his own line. Look at the Denman team. They're very slow to get back on side. This ben Hagen tackle. Denman still aren't back on side yet to uh, help out. What a great tackle by Shane Hassan. Ben Hagen about to come back into the game. He wouldn't be happy with that. This is what's happening out there at the moment. The boys just aren't getting there. Joey Neighbour has his run out of uh, dummy half. They haven't made a lot of yards here. They're going to need to get to their kick. They're only 20 metres out with Gary McKean for Denman. The ball in his hands. A short run for Dan Hagen. Gets him over that 20 metre line. But Lutz are in the middle of the field now. Their bunch at the moment. Denman, Joey Neighbour from uh, dummy half. Gets a kick. It looks like it's come up the side of his boot. It's only gone about 15 metres. That was a bit of a nothing kick to an end of a nothing set. Well, they just weren't sorted. They haven't got themselves sorted yet. And how long did it take for them three tackles to get back there and uh, help out their teammates? And look at this. No, look, they're all aside. He's pointing at them to get back outside, but he's letting the game fly. Good on you, mate. Let them fly. Let them play. Lucky game that plays. Short Millwood for Aberdeen stands up. He'll play the ball back. Touch it, you uh, watch that offside. Trying to get a penalty out of there. Oh, Jason Hugerworth, he's put it on to Larry Tanner, on to Hasselman. They keep coming out. Good numbers, a great run, a good bend too by Nathan Blacklock. But Brady Stair is able to affect the tackle and Luke Hasselman getting back to uh, help out too. Bit of a show, Nathan Cantor. Oh, oh, Look, I think uh, Dave Manane just got up there and he got uh, Benny Hagen in a bit of a headlock and... Uh,
WWF. Dave and Amy are appealing to the ref saying it wasn't me, it wasn't me. You got your try. Get on with the game. One thing we'll notice back here, Shane Hasselman has a lot of, Aldo Hasselman has a lot of things in his player book. He can now put it over, put it in there, but Nathan Blackwell just ran over the top of him. <laughs> he did too, he went right over the top of him. Now this uh, kick oh, uh, stretch the uh, lead down by six, going to be taken by Shane Hasselman, 20 metres out, about four metres in from the uh, Western touchline. Uh, he's been kicking very well at the moment, and uh, he's having a blinder at the moment. He's probably my man for the man of the match. Mate, he is playing really well. Now, him and his brother both, they're in every tackle, so they know that there's a lot in this game. And look, the boys out there from Demon, I think you've got Joey Neighbour, Lake and Homs, Dane Cronin and the Hagen boys. That's very big. That's going to be a fiery next six set of six we're going to see in defence against these Dem uh, Aberdeen boys. Like, will those boys are really pumped at the moment. It's a really good feeling out there for them. You're going to want to stretch this out. And first, you've got to get this kick for a shot. Come on, Ash. Kick out, mate. Hit it. Comes in. Boots it. And it's just going to go through the right. It's going to go through the right. It still remains 10 points to six in favour of the Aberdeen Tigers. And I'd say in Luke's head, as he has every other game, he would have said he would have kicked that goal. I tell you, I'm <laughs> very keen to get to this kickoff at the moment. Look at the size of the boys, mate. They, look, they're all over six foot tall, and they'd be weighing in around 100 kgs, each of those forwards out there. Yep. They've played plenty of footy this year. They'll be uh, ready to go. Luke Hasselman uh, is going to kick off for us and get us a restart. As I said, it's 10 points to six in favour of Aberdeen. And Aberdeen now have the ball. Now here we go. Benton. Benton, he comes in, and uh, he's going to be uh, tackled about 18 out from his own line. Looking forward to the open side now. Another hit up. Who's going to go? Oh, Tony's going to have a bit of a Larry run for himself. He's going to have a go. Give these forwards a rest, the big boppers. This is where the, the smaller blokes need to get in there, Joel, to give these forwards a rest. Yeah, look, getting it out. Now it's Allen. He's been able to get through one. Oh, there's a few more come in and Dane Crowe. He's going in everywhere, isn't he? He's the guy who kicked the field goal last time. Yeah, 31 for the last time. Oh, shit! That was the worst field goal you would have seen. Worst field goal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Love the game. Kind of worked out. I tell you what, the big kick. Get out of the way! Great tackle. Great tackle again there by Train. He took him down well. Daniel Huger will at dummy half gets it back to uh, pass. He's looking for a bit of an option there to get through after he's through the dummy. Through the dummy to uh, Brad Fenton. Now it's Sean Kenner with the ball. He's going to turn it back. Oh, he's got it done. He's a lot. He's got to win a few. He's got to win a few. That's over the 30. Before three down in the game. Tackling and bringing to the ground. Daniel Hugerworth again at dummy half. Which way we go? I think Larry Tanner wants it again. Now he's got Mark Whitten on his outside. Stands up in a tackle though, Larry, before he's put down by Benny Hagen. They're 20 metres out. We've got a couple of tackles up their sleeve. Daniel Hugerworth from dummy half. Now puts it back to Larry Tanner from dummy half. He's still, he's still. Hurt and they've got nothing on the side. He's still, he's still. He's still. He's still. He's still. from his own fry line and it's going to be Allen and Hasselman who tackle him 10 metres out. Look, I may point out that Luke Hasselman just tried to play a joke on his brother but took him out of the play. That could have been a penalty. Very much it could have. Demon are rotating their forwards very quickly at the moment. Dan Hagen comes off for his second stint on the bench as Demon and Strabble bring it out from their own 20 metre line at the moment. They're in the middle of the field as Hump plays the ball. Hasselman has it now and now Mepham finding a little bit of room outside. Aberdeen defence just staying off him a little bit, allows him to make a good 10, 12, 15 metres. Up he gets now, and he plays it on the 40 metre line. Dale Harmon's out there for Demo, he just got that off right off there. Passing on with the ball for Demo. Can't quite keep that tackle of Steve Hinchin. He hangs on for the right. Overcast conditions at the moment, Reggie, as it starts to uh, come in, and the wind seems to pick up a little bit. Will that have an effect? And nothing, they needed, they needed to capitalise on that bloody play. They, just, they needed to get out there. They, that was a nothing set. A nothing set that ended in an error, and Aberdeen have the ball on the 30 metre line in the middle of the field. Now Joey Navy gets in the men, wait to the tackle. Up they get, now he's got to play the ball. They go towards the uh, blind side too, and uh, here we go. Aberdeen. Oh, man, big run there by Sonny Miller, big run. Massive run, they're 40 metres out from the Denman line. They stay on that side too while the wingers are off their wing. Now they make another two. Now they're 30 metres out. They're 10 metres in from the eastern touchline. Luke Hinchin is the dummy half. He sends it to Sean Tanner. Cuts out Mark McCoy to Nathan Blacklock. And then there's a Nathan Dawes shoes at the moment. 
they're, they're screaming down there and they're doing those nice little kicks that was coming. But I think he's just doing lacking a bit of confidence in this big, in this big game. It's a second kick for Nathan Drakeford. In that style where they're running, he puts a little kick in behind the line. They've had success already when Shane Hasselman's done it. Both keep doing this at the moment and throw some ruins at Nathan Doyle. They've got to be awake to it and they've got to shut it down a lot quicker. But with the ball going over the deadline, it's the ball line is going to be a restart from under the goalpost for uh, Denry. I think it's uh, the wrong side. They should be attacking the other side. I think Tyson Bruns has got the you can turn and speed off that off his left foot. Good kick almost goes 50 metres on the fly before it goes to Fenton for Aberdeen and he's going to be tackled just uh, the other side of the 30 metre line. Looking for a quick play of the ball at Dummy Half. Now as Aberdeen get the ball to Sean Kenner back in for Mark McCauley. He's going to come into this game too a little bit later. Especially as the Denman forwards get a little bit tired in the half. Hasselman for Aberdeen back on the black rock. Oh, no, James Denman. Oh, he's got the ball back in the line. He's He's got a massive amount of different players. He's going to play it in front of the telegraph pole. The famous telegraph pole, McKinnon over by Aberdeen. Ball back into the middle of the field with Aberdeen. And now it's Randall. Well shut down. Very well shut down. Although Kenman coming off their line. Hawks coming in a little bit late to lean late to the tackle and finish it off. Aberdeen will play the ball in the middle of the field 20 metres out. Hoogerworth goes towards the left and finds Hassel. <laughs> There's no stopping him. What about the hands on the western side here with Nathan Blacklock turning the ball back inside to Dave Manay? Dave Manay finding the sort of room to move that Scott Dunn finds. They send it out to the other side after another tackle or two. Standing all day, they really tore Stone apart. You watch it all this all today. It's happened about three or four times. You watch that combination, but I think that if they're going to do the grubber behind, they can't do it out here. They need to go the other side. Well, they've had a kick here. They've already scored tries here, you big goose. They scored tries over the other side. They nearly scored tries here, but they're getting it over. I think that the speed. Look, you got Scott Dunn. You saw his pace. That grubber in behind. He's over the other side. We need to get that grubber in behind for them and defence over that side. Yeah. Aberdeen have used the breeze beautifully during this first half. Oh, mate, terrific. I think that, you know, it's really picked up here and it's, it's been to their advantage. All right, won't be too much longer than going half. No, I think there's only about five minutes left in this half. Seven. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> The scores remain 14 points for six. You know, that's two goals that he's missed now in the grand final. That can be tossed and not missed that one. You know Denman are going to have it. Exactly, they are. And that was, you couldn't get any more closer in front. Well, you can really put it okay with that. Technicality. Ten metres to the left of the upright, right, though. That's pretty much in front. The restart now is underway and has been kicked deep into Tiger territory. Back towards the wing and Thornton run to do a uh, take. They go back inside for the front row and it's going to be Fenton who is going to hit. He bounces off one, he bounces off two, he does the looks he do and away he goes. He's been tackled. Ten metres out now as Denman get off him. Which way to go? It looks like Steve Hinchin is the dummy half at the moment. They go towards the left towards Nathan Cantor. Balls in the tackle and pops one around the nose for his trouble. Now he's going to have to get up. Yeah, he got one around the nose. I think they're, they're feeling for something here. He's a bit slow to get to his feet. You don't see him lay down just to get a penalty, Nathan Cantor. He's a hard man. Well, it looks like uh, for Demon it was uh, Richards who uh, made the tackle. Darren Richards, the number 12 for Demon, who has made the tackle. But he's falling into the tackle. He's in his knees for a time with a fence kick today. And uh, we've got a little bit of uh, time off. Okay, the score at the moment, 14 points to six. Our coverage is thanks to the good guys at East Maitland. Uh, what do you think Benny Hogan's going to be saying when he gets into the sheds in about six minutes from now? Can I repeat that on the radio? Yeah. <laughs> no. 
No, I think that he's going to just fire them up. This is, you know, you've, you've got to be positive going into this. They are down by eight points, but to remain positive, they have come back in the past, but they really need to get another try before half time. All right, well, it's not half time just yet now as play is back underway and a uh, hit up from Aberdeen season now 20 metres out and 10 in from the eastern line. Mark McCauley with his turn to have another hit up. We don't want to be counting him in his head. No, they're really targeting that arm though. You saw four defenders rush into that tackle. Getting it away now from that dummy half as Aberdeen uh, hit a big hit too in defence by Dennis Hay and trying to lift his team. Looks like they need a little bit more talk. Look, the Demons, yeah, they are being very quiet. We said that. Aberdeen, just a lot of chatty out there, but a very great pressure on that kick. And uh, yeah. Yeah, kick for a very great pressure. Very great. <laughs> <laughs> Go with that. <laughs> a very great tackle too by uh, Aberdeen and it brought them and down their five down from the halfway line. Now it's going to be uh, Tyson Bruins as he's hit up the low nuggety fella built low to the ground. We'll edit that out later. <laughs> middle of the field, Dane Cronin is a hit up. Uh, just uh, crumbles into the line and uh, it's going to be James Hutton around the bootlaces to bring him down. They keep coming towards the blind side. Have they got something in them at the moment? Luke Hasselman for uh, Denman. He's, uh, they're not really doing much at the moment. No, look, oh, oh, there was really a bit of a blue there. Luke Hasselman went out to go. He's cleaned up the big fella. Now we've got Denman on a bit of a charge. Hasselman out to uh, McQueen. McQueen's cut out. I think he looked at it and he picked up the ball and everyone sort of stopped. So, you know, the touch judge, there was that hit in the head just then and we saw, I think this is going to ignite. I really do think that this, in the second half we're going to see a bit of a scrap. <laughs> All right, well, that pass must have been forward by uh, Gary McKean. Does Aberdeen try and bring out from their own line and Mackey hits them hard and he's got three Denman Blakes to uh, deal with. Now they've got to get up. Daniel Hugelwerk, he's a dummy half. Where's his numbers? His numbers are towards the left. And uh, Denman's starting to really lift in the fence now. They're getting off their line, especially when they're starting to put pressure on them down the other side. There's three minutes left in the half. Daniel Hugelworth has his charge from dummy half. That's been effective. It's been the best run of the set. Look, D Daniel Hugelworth should be, look, the first person picked on if you're going to put someone on the bench. And he, he tr he's tremendous out of dummy half. And he really, oh, is that? Uh, the kick oh. from uh, Aberdeen has gone back to Nathan Doyle. He tried to take it one-handed. Obviously, that was a knock-on. Oh, even though he was facing yeah. the other goalpost. I tend to think it was a knock-on, but it's play on. Now, here we go. Brady Scare for Denman. He's going to be in the middle of the field, 33 metres out from his own line. If he gets, they still want it to come towards the uh, left, but Mark Brown fools everyone and goes towards the right. Still in the middle of the field now. Luke Hasselman will be the dummy half. Where are his numbers? His numbers have to be towards the uh, left and Dane Cronin. Running the angles, and he's continued to run those angles all day long. He doesn't look to move that fast, though, does he, when he gets in there? But, geez, he makes an impact. He doesn't seem to be looking for offloads either, and he doesn't seem to have the people around him to throw it to. They need to get there in numbers, I think. Mark Brown out of dummy half, puts a chip over the top for himself. I've seen him score a thousand times this way. He's thrown a no-look pass out the back. It's gone to oh, no, no. On to Jay Wynn, and that pass has gone forward again. And another play for Demon has been shut down. I think he's caught a left on there off um, that when Andrew Meppers tried to pick up the ball, but if that was a knock on this one back here was. Yeah, look, I, I think Nathan Doyle uh, very lucky to get away with that one because I don't think you want Aberdeen attacking a line two minutes out from half time. We can't be far away from the Rangers. Two balls on the field, one of them gets sent off to the bowling club. Now Shane Allen. <laughs> well, if you go in the club, <laughs> Reggie and I will go. Shane Allen gets up now and he's uh, going to play the ball 25 out. They go towards the left-hand side for Aberdeen and Sean Millwood's going to have to get up now and he's going to play it back to General Hugerwood. Mark McCauley with a broken arm at the moment. No strapping on it either. That was a class of the Titans and the big boys come together. Daniel Hagen, Ben Hagen, Ben Hagen and uh, Mark McCauley. That's a high kick. It's out the field. It's out the field. Aberdeen again made a mistake, kicking 40 metres out from their own line. I'll tell you we're down into the final minute, whether they get time to pack this scrum. You're looking for Demon's got about one shot. Demon need to get there nice and quickly. They're still just walking at the moment. They need to get the scrum packed as quick as they can to give themselves as much options as they can. What can they work out? They're 40 metres out from the Aberdeen line. They've got a full set of six after they win this scrum. Aberdeen not interested in getting this scrum either. Now we've got it in. The ball is going... Oh, we're going to try it here. Ah, oh, we're going to have it again. 14 points to six. Aberdeen Tigers lead the uh, Demon Devils. 
comes with Demons. That's on the edge. Oh, 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 well, the mistake from Abaddon by kicking it out on the floor. Using the breeze, but using it too much there a little bit. And now the Denman fans on the eastern side, they've come alive. They're into them now, and that's a great try too. Step around the player. He's run 30, 40 metres. Touch or are you going to take the two? Uh, you kick for touch. Oh, kick for touch. Hass has just uh, copped a knock, so you know your main kicker is uh, not feeling great at the moment. Uh, Nathan Campbell's got the ball in his hand, so he's going. I will go. Yeah. You're on fire. 
Was it, was, was it the fact that he was facing the touchline that gave that away? Or? Yeah, <laughs> I think so. Joey Neighbour for Denman is OK, and that is great. Time's been blown back on, and Nathan Cantor will look for the uh, line finder, and he will take that. Now they're going to be 20 metres out. They've got a full set in there. Rampley's going to get it on to Benny Hagen. Comes off the line. Denman were probably a little bit quick off their defensive line, but it seems to be OK. Benny Hagen driven back, but he won't go to ground. Dane Cronin can't uh, quite get him there. Sorry, it was Mark McCauley. What am I doing? I was like, no, I'll let you go, mate. I thought, this is going to be interesting. How do you come back from that? <laughs> now Hass has got it. He comes out to Sean Tanner. Aberdeen, they're 10 metres out. He holds the ball up and he can get to uh, 10 metres out. They're 10 metres in from the western line. Nathan Cantor, a dummy half. He's going to look for uh, Mark Wilton. And Wildo gets in there and he's hit strong too by Richards for Denman as he falls off the tackle. Now it's Rampling on to Hasselman. Hasselman's gone towards the sideline with a kick. Jump, jump, jump. And now uh, the ball's come loose. Denman have uh, regathered. And they're going to be running it out from their own try line right on the eastern touchline. Gets out of uh, dummy half there. It looks like Brady's there and he's going to be tackled now. Aberdeen getting there in their numbers. Look, they're, I think they're really targeting the wrong side of the field. They've got to come to this side. They're kicking to that side where Tyson Brims is. And you're not gonna, I don't think they're going to get him. They're not going to break him. Now Benny Hagen stands up. Plays the ball, he gets it back to Gary McKean, who gets it to uh, Dane Cronin. Dane Cronin's met by a wall of orange jumpers, and they bring him down. That's the uh, second tackle, second, third tackle. Slow play the ball, get on with it, boys. Inside ball now, and uh, Aberdeen are there again. Denman just not quite getting there, although they are going to complete, I'd have to say, for Denman, and get to this kick and use this breeze. Luke Hassan gets the ball off, they've decided to kick early. Well, he's got a uh, full pass. <laughs> That was a terrible end to what was a, a poor and shot. They need to do better than that. And this is where Aberdeen will capitalise on this in this set of six. They have had too many of these sort of no. sets. You can't play like that in the grand final. Too many of these sort of sets. Now they've got the, uh, on the last, the changeover. Nathan Blacklock at dummy half. He gets it on to uh, Macca. And Mac is taken by uh, Cutler Hayes. Yes. Look at this Aberdeen side, they're well set out here. There's, there's a set play coming up here, and the Devon defence, there's a large gap out here on the left-hand side of the field. All right, let's call it. You say he's gone back into the left. Looks like the set of six from Denman and the Aberdeen have turned it around into a positive. Without being too critical, Denman needed to get to their kick. They've got the wind up their back. They needed to get to their kick. To be razzled on the last, 20 metres out from your own line, you've got to do better than that. But Aberdeen are pressuring the kicker and they've only got one option there. Denman only have one option, whereas Denman are not pressuring the Aberdeen kicker. thanks to the good guys at East Maitland and the scoreboard reads 18 points to 12 in favour of the home side, the Aberdeen Tigers and they've got a uh, kick to come too it looks like Nathan Cantor is going to be taking this kick too Reggie, out on the sideline he's going to be kicking into a fairly stiff breeze at the moment, it seems to have uh, the breeze increasing as the afternoon goes on Are we allowed to put bets on these guys or no? Um, Reggie you get it? Yes I got against it Poor Blake, he's going to miss it <laughs> He's going to miss it. We'll find out. Up it goes in the air. It's a short. Short, too. Oh, it's short. It's wide. There's nothing right with that. Interesting, though, that Nathan Gentle takes the pitch. He was the one that was busted before half time. Uh, Shane Hassan, I guess, he missed a couple early, too, and they could have been possibly kicks. So he's given everyone a go. But Mark Wilton's had a four in the first half. Mark Wilton's been very slow. Very slow. So doing a little bit of talk there at the moment. You devil! Very, very quickly is Denman, and they do that. Nathan Blackhoff will take the ball. Oh, he's going to get the goal of Bowen. He's going to charge him when he comes towards the centre. Shoulder charges galore, and he is tackled. 18 metres out from their own line, the centre of the field. Back it goes to uh, Rampling. They come towards the left. Pinch in with the ball. Oh, Dan Hagen comes up. Oh, 
Hincho gets up, plays it now. Now here we go. Larry Kenner back to James Stanley. James Stanley towards the middle. He's got to get up. Now he straightens up and he's met by Joey Neighbour and also Dane Cronin. Demon are not getting off their line. They're not moving up in defence. They go towards the right-hand side now, reach the 40-metre line, and now they're going to be tackled. That's the fourth tackle. Slow to play the ball. Gets up, gets it back to Rampling. They go towards the blind. Daryl Bowen's going to have a go. He's uh, got the ball free. Can't quite get it away, though. Support is not there. On the last, they'll be looking for Hass. Hass is standing nice and deep. He's pressured by the uh, German defence. Now he's put the kick in, and it's gone deep down to Tyson Bruins, who's taken it easily and darts towards the centre of the field again before he's tackled by the kicker. We've done it twice. Yeah. We've done it twice. He's been awesome today. He's been awesome in every aspect of the game. Richards oh. for uh, Denman comes up and is greeted by Macca's swinging arm, but uh, again, doesn't connect. Gets up now, plays the ball, a little bit angry about what happened in the tackle. Now it's Dan Hagen. He comes back in towards the main area of the ruck, and he comes by the Aberdeen forwards. I don't know what uh, Ben Hagen said at half time, but he needed to say something more because they are just not playing That's Ben This is a 40 20 opportunity by Darren McKenna. Yeah! 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 is a pressure kick. If they can get this over, it's a big boost for the Denman. It's going to boost them confidence, it's going to boost everything, it's going to get them all revved up. How many times have we seen that? It's very great. <laughs> it's a very great try. <laughs> he put it over in the corner. As I said, it's 18 points to 16. If that was Aberdeen over there, it'd be very vocal. <laughs> he's going to look at it good. He put himself into his little stance. He's 22 metres out from the try line. He's right on the touch line. This is a very important kick. He's looking at it. He's staring it down. Now Andrew Meffin for them, and he's picked it. But on the other, going the other way, he's kicked it into the boys and got it over. And he's kicked it on the narrow side too. The 
sides have players retiring, so they are playing for what Dan Hagen and uh, Dan Cronin from Denver are retiring, whilst Wildo and Blackrock have retired for Aberdeen. All right, now Aberdeen have got the ball back to the ball, and the first pass has got some room to make. Great tackle, great tackle there by Mark Brown to bring him down. They've got numbers towards the left, but go with Nathan Campbell to that side, and he's wrapped up by two Denman defenders. Now it's going to be rampling a dummy half. He sends it back to Hass in the middle of the field. He gives the ball inside ball to Mark McCall. He makes more good yards. This will be the third now, and they're about 10 metres out from the Denman line. They're pressing hard. They're pressing hard. Oh, rampling all the time. The Lord sends the ball. Oh, 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 Kick the come for Aberdeen. 
And as I said, this kick's going to be taken 20 metres out, around about 15 metres in from the eastern line. The crowd has gone a little bit quiet at the moment. Still very, very full. You've got to be here, like I said, there's still heaps of time. The other one crowd is very quiet, aren't they? Yeah, they need to get into it. The gate either. It's not going to cost you anything to get in. <laughs> well, Hass is uh, Shane Hudson and Parabadine lining up this kick. He's going to uh, look like he's going to get it. There we go. He's having a good stare at it too. What's he doing? Is he, is he talking it across? I think it's still in the kick, Frenchy. Jedi mind magic. <laughs> there he goes. He's kicked it. Uh, nice. He's oh, missed it. Oh, oh, oh. He's missed it. Oh, oh, oh. I can't believe it. That's eight points in gold kicks that I've been only giving back to him. This is more Four points for them, and they've got to be talking to each other. They've got to be doing it for each other. I mean, this is a great play, but does that have no gold kick on this one? Pretty good kick goals. They've tried to kick it. They might have given it to Shane Allen. <laughs> His last game, give it to him. All right, we're back underway. It's 22 points for 18. Aberdeen leads this grand final. And they send the ball back. This is going to be a great game. Luke Harkis is in the game. He's straight into it. Luke Harkis, he's playing in the front row at the moment for the Tigers. In a good run, too. Rampling, he goes to dummy half. He gets it back to Hinchy. Hinchy, look at him off the line. After Hinchy, he makes 15 metres before he's greeted by the Denman Junkers. Now they're looking for a quicker play of the ball. They get it. Rampling goes back out. And that's going to be Harkis again. He makes 10 metres. Second hit up in the set. You've got to love that sort of commitment. Now we go again. It's got to come back towards the left-hand side. And a dummy half is Pontus. Oh, 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 oh. The ball has come out. Oh, yeah. 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 The ball's just come out. Just the 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 error by um, Nathan Blackrock. He's going to hand the ball back to Demian to give them opportunity in the Aberdeen half. 22 points for 18 now coverage thanks to the good guys at East Maitland. Now, real 101 when you talk when you first play league is to get off that line and get in their face. Demon doing everything else right, but they're just not getting up. They're, they're allowing Aberdeen to run and get those yards. If Demon just start taking the three steps, three steps off the line, oh, yeah. they're going to cut down the yardage for Aberdeen. Something set up though here from the scrum. There's one bloke who didn't even get in. Looks like it was Marcus, didn't even get uh, didn't even get into the scrum there, but they fed it. And Denman have the ball now 45 out from the Aberdeen line over on the far touch side on the eastern line. Now they come back in. Looks like Brady Stair is going to be uh, tackled. Over again up though, he's looking for penalty. Aberdeen a little bit offside at the moment, but it's not called. Dan Hagen gets into the line, he's made one Darrell Bowen at the side. Oh, He's lucky he didn't get a penalty there, there's two in that. There were two splits and Matty Edwards put the penalty to that. That's where he did come out forward. It is an Aberdeen three in the middle of the ground, just the other side of the Demon half. 22 points to right now, this is a great run from one of the best we've seen in a long, long time. We said he's been the backs, the forwards are doing their job, but these backs, Demon seem a bit more negative than Aberdeen, so they're pumped. Sean Lillard for Aberdeen's got the ball from the scrum in, and he's 40 metres out, 20 metres in from the western line. Nathan Cantor, he's been effective out of dummy half, and again he gets yards, and now an off back to Sean Lillard, who played the ball. He's made more yards. They're putting Demon on the back. He's lost it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Sean Lillard, unlucky, mate. The errors have come in. Look, I think we're getting tired. Both teams are, you know, they're slow to get to the scrum, they're slow to get to the play, the ball, but... Demon need to get off that line. I can't say it anyway. Can we get a message down there? <laughs> get off the line, Demon. <laughs> That's what they need. Here we go. Well, there's a oh, fix I'm taking for us. Now Gary McKean, he's put it in the front. He comes out the back. And now Hass. And he's uh, put it on the Tyson Bruins for Denman. He's going to be tackled now 25 out from his own line. From the middle of the field. They keep going towards the left-hand side. And that's Hunt. He's going to be tackled now by Steve Hinchin around the boot laces. He gets up, gets a fairly quick play the ball. Now McKean holds it up for one, finds Joey Nava. He gets in the line and over the 40-metre line. It's the third tackle now. What have uh, Denman got? They want to get to their kick. Why not do it early, you know? Sean Millwood for Aberdeen. He's still in the line. There's a 40-20 opportunity. Well, they go for it. I think they're looking for it. Gary McKean does want it. They go to the other side, though. He didn't get what he wanted. And it's going to be uh, Mark Brown. He shows and goes a couple of times. 
before he gets on to Tyson Vaughan, who's very close to that touch line on the eastern side. They've got to put a good chase on this guy. They've got to put a good chase. In the Here we go. It's a hard kick. It's a Johnny Beard midfield bomb. Who wants it? Larry Tennis says, I'll just take it. Here you go, boys. This is how it's done. And he's going to be wrapped up by the Denman defence. 25 metres out in the middle of the park. Larry's not happy with the tackle, but he gets up. Number four for uh, Aberdeen, and he gets in. But are you there, was it? For Benny Hagen? It was a small arm, but, you know, they've been coming from both sides. There it goes to Larry Tanner on to Darrell Bowen. He gets to the 40 metre line. Good tackle by Holmes. He's finishing him off and wrapping the ball up. It's slow it down. Which way do they go now? They go towards the right hand side. Nathan Blackrock wants it. He's found, uh, looks like uh, Harkis out there. Who, uh, no, it goes. Oh, then the defence is too strong at the moment. They seem to have lifted in the last couple of minutes. Blacklock is the dummy half. He goes towards the uh, short side for Larry Tanner. I know if you go to the top, passes there. Balls cross and balls. The ball is in there. And Tyson Bowen will get this. Tanner gets over the line. Who's going to get it? It's Tanner. It's Tanner. He's got the right on the halfway line. Tanner from the eastern line. I said they don't target him when they're still targeting him. They're persisting with it. And he's going to carve them up. Jerry Nagel with the ball in his hands. Finds Gary McKean. He's bounced off the uh, Larry Tanner. Oh, 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 Thank <laughs> you. 
Respect to him. 
but you've got the loss of Hassi out there, you know, we need to get those kick, kick, kicks in here and go early and get a repeat set. Essentially, Hassi has been playing a little bit wider in the second half, and just got an extra one out. Now, the game comes into the line, that's over. That's a great one, he's made 10 metres. Then they're now 38 metres out from the other end line, they're pressing hard. They do a back line move, get a Gary McBee, he holds it up before the Aberdeen defence can uh, pull him down. And Jane Cronin is there as well, pointing out, helping the referee out. Now Mark Brown is only half. He comes back towards Luke Hasselman. Oh, he's held it up too, and if he had got inside, he would have been home. Looking at Nathan Candle back here, he's very groggy at fullback. He's and gone. he's gone back to fullback too. Will they make that switch in the hole? Now he's got Hodge. Hodge with the ball. He's over the 20 before he's wrapped up. That's tackle four. He's got to get up. He's got to play the ball quickly. He's got to play it. They want it. Mark Brown, he's gone. He goes to uh, Jane Craney. Now he's going to play the ball. The 12 metres out. Gary McKenna, the ball. Clean up for the second time this afternoon in front of his own goalpost. That would have been very final if he had it got over. Now they get out and it's going to be Nathan Kim for a crime. It's still in the middle of 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 the expecting to kick the touch. Mark McCauley, he makes 20 metres and now they're going to be 25 out there, 10 from the eastern line. Dave Manana has a hit up and just a half and done in half before he's going to be tackled. Stand away in the way, get us a swing, boy. Got to give it away. That's how they're going to have to look and he's going to be tackled by Hunt. Oh, he tries to get him in the head cut. Tries to get him in the head cut. Tries to get him in the head cut. They're making all the tackles at the moment. Now, yeah, Riesling for Aberdeen, sends it back out to uh, Blackwell. He's held a rock up by Richards, but they can go. Go, Winnie! And it's going to be Scott down. They're going to have to pull him down. Mets going to bring him down with a bit of help. Get up, get up! Get up! Get up! He's up in the western line. Towards the centre, they go again. It's going to be Shane Allen. He's going to be wrapped up. Jesus, solid block. Now he gets 40 metres out from the own line. They're working it out. Mark is arguing the other for the fence for over there. 
Yeah, we went nice and Doyle in the back line. He's been able to get the ball up with Johnny. Johnny now has uh, sent it back to Nathan Doyle with Johnny Hart. Down for the line. Good luck. 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 Good luck.
Scotty Herald. Yeah. 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 Yeah.